Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. I've been in practice for 25 years. And the question that often women ask is what is HCG? HCG stands for human chorionic gonadotropin. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about this in detail, but I encourage you if you wanna know more about pregnancy, and other questions that you may have, I encourage you to hit the link below that will direct you to further information. So, what is HCG and why is it relevant to you as a pregnant woman? After fertilization occurs, that means the sperm and the egg have gotten together, the sperm has fertilized the egg, the egg takes about seven days approximately to go down the fallopian tube and embed itself in the uterus. At that point, when it embeds itself into the uterus, HCG is released from your uterine lining in the form of blood hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin. This is the hormone that is positive when you do your pregnancy test. So as HCG goes up and you dip your urine in this strip, it will say positive, you're pregnant, and it's measuring this hormone HCG. The soonest that you can identify HCG in your urine is around day 35 of your cycle. That's assuming that you got pregnant on the 14th day of your cycle and you move forward another two weeks. You have your period, but you've missed it. At that point, you cannot identify typically urine pregnancy HCG in your urine. So you need to wait another week around day 35. Now, if you were to get a serum blood test, that means we draw blood out of your arm, we can identify HCG in your blood as soon as seven days after you conceived. So typically around day 21 to 25, we could identify HCG in your blood. Now, HCG is a good marker for identifying if your pregnancy is going to be successful. And it also helps us in identifying whether your pregnancy is in your uterus or in your fallopian tube. Now I mentioned earlier that HCG typically is released from your uterus, but there's small quantities also, even though your pregnancy is not in your uterus, if your pregnancy was in your fallopian tubes, that hormone can also be released because you have what's called a pseudo gestational sac in your uterus. That means a false pregnancy site in your uterus and the actual pregnancies in your fallopian tube. The HCG typically does not go up like it should in that scenario and it can mean an extra uterine pregnancy. Also the HCG is used in even a normal intrauterine pregnancy that does not look like it's moving forward in a normal fashion. In other words, the babies died very early in the gestational period, your HCG typically does not go up like a normal HCG elevation. Now, what is a normal HCG elevation? After the pregnancy starts to grow in the uterus, typically the HCG doubles approximately every 48 hours. So if you go into your doctor's office and you're three or four weeks after conception occurred, we will measure with a number what your HCG level is. Sometimes your healthcare provider will have you come back in 48 hours and we wanna see a doubling. So if it's 1,000 on this day, we want it to be 2,000 48 hours later. This is a good indicator that you have an intrauterine pregnancy and that that pregnancy is growing appropriately. Now, as the HCG continues to elevate, Oftentimes, women will become nauseated, and, they, and obviously everybody knows what this is. It's called morning sickness. And we, through the years, have identified HCG as the common marker for causing morning sickness. And that is something on different video that I've addressed, how to manage morning sickness. But it's typically due to the HCG hormone. Your HCG will continue to elevate up until about your 16th week of gestation, and then it typically levels off at that point and stays at that level throughout your pregnancy. HCG is a very important topic for many women 
especially early in their pregnancy and as it relates to nausea and vomiting. I encourage you to hit the link below, go to our course. We have a lot more information that will help you out for this and future pregnancies.